Hi everyone. I hope you can hear me well. I was just uh, finishing the setup. project on NetBeans. Okay, fine. And now I'm opening the plugin. <clears throat> So today should be quite interesting because we are hopefully uh, just uh, wrapping up. Uh, so possibly the last uh, episode of the, this very long series of Twitch uh, streaming sessions of one hour each. Sometimes uh, it has uh, lasted more than one hour when I really got stuck. And actually it was more than 13 uh, sessions because uh in some cases oops. in some cases uh the uh, the i completely failed uh, in some cases i completely failed to make any progress during the stream uh, so i did not uh, upload the recordings hi uh, i don't know how i should pronounce your uh, name and surname, but Nya Liar, very glad to uh, meet you. So we're going to start in a minute. I'm just uh, opening the files for the plugin. And then I'm going to show you uh, what, what, what's inside and what we're going to do for today. <clears throat> I'm going to also uh, open uh, Giphy. All of this is much uh, slower than the usual because when I stream, uh, the, my computer gives all the resources to, to OBS, which is the software I'm using to stream. And, uh, and Giphy uh, has no resources left to launch quickly. Oops, Giphy should go there. Okay, but it's launching. Hey, Mathieu. Super glad to see you. Okay, I suppose we, we can start. NetBeans has launched and, uh, well, almost launched. So, well, I'm going to share with you. Okay, so that's what I see at the moment. That's so NetBeans, uh, Nia Liar, it's the software that helps you uh, code because coding is just typing words. 
but you have so many little uh, things that, that can help you uh, code quicker or you know or avoid mistakes and uh, so you have software to help you do that uh, you know code in a in a better way and NetBeans is one of these softwares uh, and NetBeans is super cool but uh, you know just like Giphy it is completely a resource starved when I uh, when I stream, so it's uh, much, 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 much longer than it, uh, slower than it should be. But it's coming. So for today, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, you know, record the demo. I think that's going to be the the, ni the nicest, the most interesting. And then I'm going to just check that uh, the description of the plugin is correct. Um, stuff like that. And then I'm going to push it to uh, to GitHub. I'm not super familiar with pushing plugins to to GitHub. The last time I did that, uh, I was helped by Mathieu Bastion, and that was during the Giphy week. You know, a full week late uh, last August, where we we coded for Giphy, and and I think that was Mathieu Bastion who helped me to to push the, another plugin. But this time I'm on my own, so. Uh, So I will try to do it uh, all by myself. So hi, everyone. Let's start. What I would like to do is uh, demo the plugin first. So to demo the plugin, I'm going to. Uh, so what you see here is the code of the plugin, you know, the list of files that I, I have written to make it work. Uh, but how do you create a plugin that anybody can use? We just right click on the title and you do a uh, clean and build and when you do that let me show you what it does i just have to yeah i just have to find where where the files are but now i remember so what it does when you do clean and build Oops. It creates one file, which is the plugin. You know, it, it basically packages all the different files into one big file. Uh, and this is what uh, NetBeans is doing at the moment. So if, if you look at the bottom uh, window here, the bottom panel, it's uh, just showing you plenty of information on the process of building the plugin in one file. And you see in green, maybe I could uh, zoom in, build success. So the, the plugin has been successfully built. Where? Uh, well, actually, somewhere there uh, yes module oh sorry you don't see it. it's here so I was saying this is where my the files of my plugin are I click on module modules this is where the unique plugin I have created is located and then you have the source file src stands for source but target is where the things that have been packaged are situated. So I open it, and yes, this is the plugin. Uh, let me zoom. Let me. Yeah. So the file is called is called Lexical Explorer plugin. Dot nbm. If you see an nbm file, it can be a, a Giphy plugin, and it's super small. As you see, it's like 400 kilobytes. It's like ridiculously small. So now I can just open Giphy. I think I have opened Giphy already. Yes. 
So I have Giphy opened. How do I use my plugin? How do I install it in Giphy? Uh, so at the moment, the, the plugin has not been publicly released. So usually you would do tools, plugins, and in the window that opens, you should do, you should click on, well, it's just initialize, it initializing. So if the plugin has been publicly released, you can find it in available plugins. You know, this is, these are all the plugins that people like me have created and they have um, sent it send their plugins to the Giphy team and the Giphy team has looked at the plugins and said, well, these are useful and uh, working. So we publish them. This, this is the list of published pl pl uh, plugins. But mine, it's, I'm still developing it, it's not published. So I should install it differently. Oh, by the way, if, how do you install a published plugin? You just click on, click on it and then you click on install. You know, it's super easy but my plugin is not in the list. So for me, I have to go to downloaded, add plugins, and then, you know, it opens a file explorer. And then I just have to, to go to the place where my, uh, where the plugin we just created, where it is, you know? So it is in, uh, yeah, it's there. Yeah, this one, you know, NBM, open. Okay, so first thing to check, uh, it's the, you know, the description, because I, uh, again, I'm about to release the plugin. I would like the description to be uh, correct. So there is a home page for it, which is fine. Uh, plugin description, this plugin displays the most frequent keywords among the textual attributes of the network. Yeah, so the question is, should I rename the plugin as a word cloud? Maybe I should, but uh, yeah, maybe I should actually just for the sake of. OK, today I'm going to rename it word cloud. I don't like this term at all, but that's the term that everybody knows. So let's go for it. OK, so that's fine. And then I just click on install. So it's going to install it on, on my Giphy. So why? Yeah, it's unsigned, but fine. Okay, it's installed. Should, and I'm going to, I need to restart my Giphy to to complete the installation process. So Giphy is restarting. It takes some time because again, we are a bit uh, overwhelmed by by OBS. Okay, so you see like me that Giphy has reopened. And indeed what we see now is uh, there, you see, this is the plugin, oops, sorry, here. This is the plugin we have uh, created and it's installed. So the plugin is, has to, uh, can be found next to the features and the statistics panels. Uh, so as I said uh, in the, on, you know, on the Facebook group for Giphy, just before I started streaming, I have a file that I can use to, um, 
to test and demo the plugin. So the file is, uh, let, let me open it, I hope. I hope I have it. I think I, I saved it. If, if it could just work, yeah, fantastic. I mean, fantastic. So this, this, this is a network of all the, almost all the people who follow me on Twitter. Not everyone, because some of them are uh, have private accounts, so they, there is no information on them. Uh, and so these are the people following me on Twitter, and the connections are, you know, do they follow each other? So there are about three thousand uh, accounts and uh, seventy six hundred uh, no seventy six thousand uh, edges which is a lot so that's good for the test because uh, can the plugin handle uh, quite a big network uh, for this plugin to work it should have the the, the network should have a textual attribute on the nodes. So I'm going to switch to the data lab to see if the network has a, a textual attribute for the nodes. So what we see here is the data table for nodes and each column is an attribute. Uh, so yes, there is one description. Every uh, node uh, has a description and the description is simply the, you know, the thing that Twitter users put in their biography of their profiles. So we, we should be good. I switch back to the overview. And so we can use the plugin. Um, so I just click on start. I should not do that. Oops. I'm going to click on start and it should uh, not work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Why? Oops, how can I show you these things clearly? Um, so it doesn't work. Oops, not super, maybe. Yeah, something like that. It doesn't work because we didn't select an attribute. So I'm going to hit refresh. And now it shows all the attributes that the plugin can analyze. And I told you description is the attribute that has plenty of textual information. So I'll, I select it. So now if I click on start, things should work, I hope. So yes, it works. Uh, if I zoom, it says it analyzed the network. It took a couple of seconds and then it switched to, you can go to the keywords tab uh, and explore the network and its related keywords. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to shift, sh uh, you don't see it. I'm going to shift to most frequent keywords, which I do now. And what I can read, sorry for the back and forth, is no region of the network is selected. Use the mouse to select a region of the network. The configuration button at the top left of the network is useful for enlarging the selection area. So maybe if you know Gephi, uh, you know what it means. But otherwise, that's why we need a, uh, to record a demo. Basically, you click on the select icon which is this tiny arrow at the, top, at the top left of the overview. But it's not enough. If you do just that, I'm not sure anything will work. What you, you should do next is click on configure here. And you should increase the selection area. I don't know if you see, so you don't see, maybe switch, switch here. Oops, things are super slow. Yeah, we see things better now with the white background. But you see that when you hit configure, you can increase and decrease. So I just increase the size of the selection area. They can decrease it as well. 
uh, this one is pretty nice, I would say. So now once we have done that, so I'm going to move over the network and look at the bottom right, the, you know, the, in the plugin, uh, you should see stuff. I'm moving here. Yeah, great. I'm so relieved the demo that works. So you see that I'm curious about what is this community about? So I just hover there and let me zoom on the developer software HTTP Apache Jakarta. So you understand that it's developer software. It seems to be pretty much related to, uh, I mean, people. Oh, great. So Mathieu on the chat just said you can do control. You can just keep the, the control uh, key pressed and then you, uh, you turn the wheel of the mouse and it will change the diameter without having to do, uh, you know, this configuration stuff. Super, Mathieu. Thanks a lot. Um, okay, so back to the, you know, when you, this community, I, I even if I, 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 I didn't know it, the, the plugin helps me understand that it's a community of software developers. Um, so let's continue. Let's go over there. And let me show you what it says. Science analytics. So HTTPS, this one is pretty annoying um, uh, because it's, you know, it's just somebody putting HTTPS uh, in their profiles. So we should, uh, I should remove this, this word. Founder and scientist. So it seems to be, so let me move around. Science, founder, database, business analytics. Okay, so these are people in business doing science and data science. Okay, let's move to the orange one. Social science media analytics. Well, super clear. Social scientists doing big data. This HTTPS is so annoying. I'm going to remove it so quickly. Uh, social media, science, digital, yeah. So what about this light blue? So I knew it, but I so, I'm so glad to see it. Digital humanities, people doing digital humanities. That's a community I know well, because uh, the reason that they follow me is that I'm, the same, I'm in the same field. Okay, great, publishing, digital. <clears throat> Super, and if we finish with the I look at the, there are two regions I like to see. I like to see this, you know, this intermediary region. Oh, so you can't see it. So who is in this intermediary region? And marketing, innovation, digital innovation, marketing. Interesting. And on the left, E.M. Young, which is the, the school where I work. I'm actually on the E.M. Young campus in Paris. So it's all my colleagues, basically, uh, with a relation to innovation and digital and analytics, which is coherent with my uh, professional identity as a professor in a business school doing digital stuff. Oh, and the last one, there is a one tiny one here, tiny region. And this is the community of the people that look like me at the time when I was doing my PhD in history of economics. So if you want to zoom in, science, economics, historian, history. These are the, yeah, this is my, this is the community from my PhD days. History.js, okay, interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah, yes. uh, so we should be, we should be, thank you, Mathieu. It's, um, uh, it's super nice. Uh, and I hope that it's going to be yeah useful to, um, all the people uh, and all the Giphy users who spend a lot of time just, uh, 
you know, eyeballing uh, networks trying to understand uh, what's going on. So when you're finished, you can just click on cancel and it uh, it just uh, it stops updating the and uh, updating the, the word cloud and behind the scenes it, it stops all operations so uh, you you basically uh, stop uh, uh, solicitating the CPU of your computer. Okay, so glad that it works. Let's go back to NetBeans. Uh, I would like to say that before releasing the plugin, um, a very good practice would have been to create tests in the code. Uh, so it's notorious that uh, some people are lazy and don't like to write tests. I am one of these persons. Um, but I was super lucky that uh, Veronica, uh, uh, who is a, a, a professor in Mexico and who is a specialist of social media applications and analytics, uh, she has tested this plugin extensively um, in the last two weeks, and she has sent me um, extensive feedbacks on uh, uh, well, on the ergonomics, uh, basically, and on the interface and on things that uh, didn't work super well. So I have um, taken her, uh, all her feedbacks into account um, and made the modifications. I've also uh, tested the plugin myself uh, extensively. And I think I have uh, uh, addressed a lot of uh, corner cases that should make it uh, pretty stable now. And I have received no other feedback from uh, early adopters. So we should be ready to publish. Uh, before we publish, I would like to check the, so I'm gonna go to this. So uh, as I told you, these files, you know, this is the code of the plugin. That's what makes the, the plugin work. But we have other files, it's called other sources, like not code, but uh, files which are not uh, code that have some important information. Um, so there's a manifest which uh, is not interesting in our case, so that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna do something super dangerous, but I'm doing it nonetheless. Uh, I'm going to rename all my packages and uh, everything to Word Cloud. Uh, it's something that it's always a pain and everybody hates to do that because it can break stuff. But I think that if I don't do it now, I will never do it and we will end up publishing a, a plugin which has a name that nobody understands. and. Um, and I think that it's good practice to be, you know, uh, easy to understand by the users, not just having a good plugin, but having a plugin that says what it does in a clear way. So let's go for it. Manifest has no reference to, so we should be fine. Oh, there is here this thing. So we should rename that. So everything Lexical Explorer, I think I'm gonna do a big find and replace. Super risky, but you know, let's leave dangerously. So uh, every time you find Lexical Explorer, yeah, that should be fine, hopefully. Don't do that at home. <laughs> Uh, so first it's going to tell me where it found it or oh, in many, many, many places. No, 11, 11 places, which is not big. So replace and pray. Uh, okay. 11 things have Oh, we have a red alert here, you know, the red. Uh... So why is it? Yeah, 
Yes, I suppose. Hmm, not super clear. Oh, the package name has not been re has not been uh, changed. So I'm gonna do it manually. Okay, package names have not been updated. Fine. And this one as well. So as you see, it's pretty simple, right? You just right click, rename. You wait a bit. Okay. And as you see, the error has disappeared. Okay, good. Okay, I should have a look at the POM file. So I told you, you have other files, right? That are not code, that's situated here. And there is another super important file, which is in project files. Actually, I'm gonna check the three of them. So the POM is really, I think I recently uh, learned what POM meant. It's bill of materials, which is a super fancy name to say, uh, or technical name to say basically uh, it's a list of important resources and information about the project you're doing. So name, not lexical explorer, word cloud plugin, artifact ID, we, we're going to call it word cloud plugin, group ID, this is the kind of company organization name I tend to use. Okay, all good. Okay, I don't see other issues here. Let's see here. I should do 11. And the last file I like to double check. Oops. Yeah, it's this one settings. Just checking if there is, you know, the, if the change of name has been applied everywhere. It seems to be the case. Uh, okay, there's one last bit where I should change. It's the parent project. So I should create word cloud plugin, parent project for word cloud plugin. Fine, nothing to change. Seems fine. I have this weird little uh, icon. It tells me there's a problem. Oh, I can't find the 11. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, I'm sure I forget stuff. Uh, so, yes, I. I, I So the last thing is, so I've changed in the parameters, if you want, the name of the plugin. But in the description of the plugin, you know the text that is attached to the plugin when you install it. I should check that I uh, do talk about the plugin in the correct way. So I'm going to do a search, lexical plugin. 
yeah, you see the mod module name, it's called lexical exploration. And people, I mean, it's not super clear. clear. So word cloud plugin is gonna be so much easier to understand. And then we have Yeah, that's tricky. So what you should please follow with me. What you see with these files, this long list of files, these are all the text in the plugin for each of the different languages uh, that Giphy can have. So if you have uh, Giphy in French, it's going to take this file where all the text in French is located, actually this one, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to use this file to display the plugin in French. Okay, so if I want to change one text, one piece of text, like the name of the plugin, I have to update all these files, which is ugly. NetBeans is super convenient because it allows you to do the following thing. I'm gonna right click on any of these files, like the uh, this one is for Catalan, and then I do open. And if you see, there is something super weird but actually super easy. Okay, so what is this strange thing? This thing shows all the files, you know, all the languages, the different languages for each piece of text. So this thing is the piece of text, which is like a code. And then if you, if you uh, display the plugin in French, this piece of code will be replaced by the column, which is for French, uh, which is a bit, which is a bit on the right, right? And this thing is gonna in the plugin is gonna be replaced by by its value in French, whatever. So thanks to this convenient way to display uh, all the textual information in all the languages, replacements became become easier. So, and for example, this one here has, let me zoom on this one. This one, this is where you have the name of like the menu title and it says lexical expression plugin. And I should change that for all languages. To, uh, to avoid doing that by hand, I'm gonna just pick the name of this property. I copy it. I paste it in a text uh, editor just to uh, to keep a tr uh, you know to to keep a, a copy of it because I otherwise I will not memorize it. So I just copy the the thing here. Then I delete the key. So there is a delete like remove property. Okay. Yes, I want to remove it. Then I create it again, so new property. Actually, I had copied the name of the property, so I just paste it there. And if you feel the value here, the value is, be, is going to be uh, set for all languages. And for the name of the plugin, I don't have to have a German or French or English version of the name. I'm, it's going to be word cloud plugin. Even if it's uh, an English word, it's kind of a famous name, I suppose you, I don't know, in French, we know word cloud and I suppose that in other languages, uh, people might understand what this means. So I just click on OK. And as you don't see that too well, but basically it has updated all languages with the name word cloud plugin. So I'm gonna search now for the next, I mean, do I have, oh yes, here, same. The title of the panel is in, uh, is called lexical expression, whatever. So I remove this property. I create it again. Uh, what 
cloud plugin and every language has it now. Okay, great. And I suppose, yeah, the, oh no, this plugin. Okay. The name of the plugin is not, I don't say the lexical explorer, whatever. So fine. Very good. I think we're done. I, I was super afraid that would, that would take forever, but why are these two properties empty? Oh yeah, placeholder. Yeah, fine. I mean, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, and before we leave, uh, before we leave, before we leave, I gave two links. No, that's fine. I would like to, no, I would like to add, yeah. I would like to add a link to uh, a page where, uh, where, where a tutorial is, is available because otherwise people will just, uh, uh, not, I mean, the people who are lost will not be able to, uh, to use it. So it's super, it's not super easy, but, oh, lexical explorer top component. I should also rename this one. I'm going to rename it word cloud top component. It doesn't want to, doesn't want to. It's gonna break stuff. I still, Oh yes, because you have generated code. Or oh, I should not touch that, I think, to the address. Okay, never mind. So this is where I would like to add a, a link, you know, in the oh my god. There is some ugliness here. The form does The form contains contains some unauthorized unauthorized uh, XML. Uh, <laughs> not good, not good. Where do I access this XML stuff? Where do I access the form? Because the form is not visible here. But anyway, it tells me where the, so it's ampersand hash. So this form, I should be able to see it outside of NetBeans. Oh, or maybe I can stay in NetBeans actually. I never use it, but files, files, uh, word cloud plugin, source main, Java, Net, Clemo, Word Cloud. And I think there is a form here, no? No. Okay, I've broken everything. Great, Clemo. Oh, the form is visible here. Relieved. So I'm going to do a, a search.
So the thing was complaining about an ampersand followed by a hash. So let's try and find it. Right there, right there. Oh, the title is completely, completely fucked up indeed. How is it possible? So strange. Do I have another title border? Ah. So maybe I should just. Oh no, that's. How are titles supposed to look like? Okay, I will never know. Ah, title X, property name. Yeah, let's try that. Not sure it's not sure it's a good idea. We'll see. Anyway, I fixed that here. Let's go back to the ID to NetBeans project design. Seems to work, right? No miss, no error sign anywhere. Okay, good. So what I wanted to do is, okay. So at the moment I have two links, one with uh, my name and a link to my profile, one link to the Facebook group for Gephi where you have uh, a very active discussion, very active community discussing Gephi. And I would like to add a last uh, kind of, let me zoom in for you. I would like to add a last uh, uh, rubric. So one, two, a uh, last one that shows a, sp uh, a link specific to this plugin so that you click on it to have help. So, so I struggled a lot alone in, in the last last week or two weeks ago to to have proper layouts but uh, it's working now so I should so that should be fine right uh, yeah okay yeah so let's uh, reproduce Oh, you don't see that, but so this is this panel shows me the hierarchy of all the things that are in the panel. Super complicated as it seems, right? It's like well, but uh, it helps you designing a, a, a window which is exactly as you want, even if it's a lot of steps. But uh, so I need, so this one is the first uh, link. This one is the second link. So I'm going to create a third one. G panel. I'm going to put it here. Yes, did you see up here? Here, great. So this one is flow layout, but it should not. It should be a, a border layout. Okay. And then inside I put, what is it? Yeah. I put another J panel.
Yeah, exactly. It should be centered. Centered and inside, so it should be a border layout itself, not a floor layout. So, as you see, you have layouts in layouts in layouts, it's really crazy. Uh, but uh, in the end, uh, you get what you need. And inside, I should have two G labels. The first one is the first one should be centered. So a, a G label in it. Yeah, great. Which should be centered. Yeah. And a second layout, a uh, second label which should be east. So let's do that. Another label which should be should be east at the east, you know, at the right. So not after east. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, so we should give some text. So the text of this one is simply uh, Oh, it's not simple. It's not simple because I don't want to give it the content just in French. It should be in every language. So we're going to call it G-Level uh, Visit Tutorial. Okay. And the second one should be so how did I write that here? Okay, I'm gonna copy paste. And the second one should be the you know the link. Uh, the link. So the link should be. Where is the tutorial going to be? It's going to be on my page with Giphy tutorials. Let me. So I have this page. Let me show you. I have this website where I have written Giphy tutorials. And there is one rubric about plugins. And I should add something there. So it's in the form of, if I take one, it's this form, HTTP, send clear, whatever, give tutorials, generated HTML. Okay. So I'm gonna have the equivalent here. So the page does not exist yet, but I'm going to create it later. Okay. Uh, good, good, good. 
so we could have a look. How does it look like? How does the entire panel uh, look like? So it looks like that at the moment. Uh, it's not centered. I mean, these things are always a pain, right? But I'm pretty confident I can fix that quickly. I've struggled so much. So it should be left. Vertical position. Vertical alignment should be center. Okay, fine. And then that's the dimension. We should check uh, this dimension is minimum size 60, 16. And the maximum size is uh, gigantic, basically. I think the most important is the preferred size, 232. Okay. And what about the panel? So I'm just basically copying the dimensions of the previous panels I have created to be, well, to be consistent. Preferred size is 340.39. Okay. That uh, looks nice. Okay, so this thing is just, oh, you don't see anything. Why? My. Where is, why is my, is my computer broken or what? Okay, 
super strange. Uh, okay, so why is this thing just... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe we're good. Okay, maybe we're good. I just want to add a. I just want to add a, a, a funny emoji there. Something that says help. Oh, so maybe uh, how do. Something that, you know, to save people in at sea. I don't know how you call that. Something that floats. And if objects, you know, something that symbolizes help. thought it's, it was a, an obvious emoji. Or maybe a pill, that would be fun. That is not super 
obvious. So a flash, uh, a light bulb or a flashlight. Okay, the light bulb is pretty, pretty common. Uh, so I'm going to add it to the to the title of the border. The thing is freezing. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, and now I need to localize, so translate in so many languages, uh, this G label. So I should rename it G label is, oh, it's G label visit. <laughs> Sorry, G label visit tutorial. So I should find it. There, I suppose it has been added uh, somewhere. Yeah, exactly here. So in English, I should call it a tutorial. for this plugin I think it's not there's nothing more clear than that uh, it just needs to be translated in so many languages and uh, from last week or two weeks ago I told you I have a, a very convenient Java program for that it calls Google Translate and Deeper to to translate the things you need and it inserts the translations exactly where you need. So, uh, so it's one of the what one of the times where you know automation is uh, really worth. Uh, it was really worthwhile. Some because sometimes you're like, oh, yeah, I could copy paste myself and stuff, but but no, it's really too boring. Okay, so I think I have nothing to do except launch. So this thing is gonna fetch the translations uh, automatically, I hope so. Let me check. I will see, let's, let's launch it and we'll see. So first I use Deeple to get the Brazilian Portuguese uh, uh, translation because that's where Deeple is. Uh, Google has not Brazilian Portuguese last time I checked. Okay, there is a mistake. And the reason is that I've changed the, yes, of course, I've changed the name of the uh, you know, I just changed the name of the lexical explorer, whatever, to word cloud. So my, uh, it's going to take two minutes to fix. I do that off screen because that's where I have the API keys for my, uh, Oh shit. Well, it showed the keys. Never mind. Well, never mind, I know. Actually, no, it's not good at all. Uh, oh no, that's good. Well, the deeper API key, I think, was visible, maybe. I'm gonna replace it. Uh, the other stuff was not visible. Okay, word cloud. Word 
Cloud plugin. That should be fine. So now when I just relaunch here, I think it should work. Oh no, come on. Yay. Why? Oh, where cloud? I made a spelling mistake. Okay, let's start again. Still not good. There is something fishy here. What's the issue? Why is it complaining? It's just really a mistake of... Net that word cloud, net that word cloud. Oh, bundle is <laughs> thing is written in small cases. Maybe it should be. Maybe it should be lower case. <laughs> there is something else I don't get. No, so it's not that. Okay, I should just check the the file explorer. Okay, let's go open what clouds modules check what cloud plugin check source main resources check net Clement Evaluat. what cloud Oh, I see. Very stupid. Nothing to do with the... Okay, it was just that I moved the project elsewhere. So nothing to do with the... Uh, the only issue is that I have...
only issue is that I completely screwed the... Wow, that's really uh, an adventure. do a yeah yeah okay well I almost screwed up by changing the name I almost deleted all the all the bundle files so close to uh, messing up completely with the app I should close the file, I should close the project, I should reopen it. It's not even recognized as a as a Java. Obviously, it has no perm file. Why? What's the what's the bins here? Tricky, tricky, tricky.
Okay, so are we back on track? erased what I've done. Shit. Anyway, let's do it again. So I paid. I pay a, a big price for for changing the name of the of the plugin, but it's worth it.
Okay, back to translating fully. should be good. So let's run it. Okay, translate it to Brazil Brazilian. Portuguese and now to uh, all the other languages. Hopefully. Okay, so finished. Uh, so let's check French. Do we have that somewhere? Page web avec un tutoriel sur le plugin. It worked. I should not forget to copy that. Oops. To copy that in the default page, which is here, and and we should not forget to add the link to. Oh, for some reason it had recorded it here. We should not forget to add, uh, you know, when the user is going to click on the link, nothing will happen if we don't add some uh, fancy, uh, some fancy code to trigger the opening of uh, of uh, of a web browser. Let me check on this one. How did I do that? It's mouse clicked. Okay, mouse clicked. Mouse clicked. Uh, okay, that's here. Oh, nice. Fancy. I have some static properties to. I had forgotten about that. I stole the I stole the the URLs in a special file tutorial web link. Okay, are we done? I suppose so. I'd just like to check the version. So 
what's the version of this plugin? 0 0.10.0 and it's using Giphy 0 0.10.0. I suppose it's okay. Suppose it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna. <clears throat> so I don't know if there is anyone here, but uh, I think we're finished. It was uh, messy, but we are pretty much finished. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are pretty much finished. Uh, so. What is left to do is just, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna open it one last time, just to uh, make sure the changes I've made uh, have not broken the plugin. So I'm gonna uninstall the one. Oh, and to check that the name has indeed be updated and stuff. Uh, should I save the project? No need. Uh, okay, the plugin is finishing building. So I can open it. I can open Giphy meanwhile. Okay, uh, okay, fine. Oh, Giphy is opening. I didn't do anything, but uh, fine. Why not? Okay, GIF is happening. <clears throat> GIF has finished opening. So I should install the plugin I've just updated. is uh, <clears throat> pretty far away. No, no, not there, not there, not there. Oh, so first, is it Word Cloud plugin? Okay, good. Word Cloud plugin, Word Cloud plugin, perfect. Okay, good. Install. Restart now. Fine. 
Okay, wet cloud, wet cloud plugin, the thing is, is uh, displaying correctly. Get help. Ooh, look at this horrible thing. Oh shit, I, I should have checked that. Okay. I forgot, completely forgot about the, the design of this thing. Yeah, of course it's not. It's not as it should. How does it look like? Yeah, the okay, the the thing should wrap. The thing should wrap. I can't remember how I achieved this effect. Uh, how did I achieve this effect? There, there must be. I think there's a wrap. Uh, how did I do the wrap effect? Can't remember that. Vertical text position center. Center. Okay, this is HTML stuff. Okay. I, it has to be enclosed in HTML tags to wrap. I had forgotten about that. Where is the HTML here? Yeah, HTML. So let's take two minutes. Okay, good, 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 good. I should get the effect. I should need, just need to translate everything now here.
and then Brazilian. Okay, done. So we should get the effect we wanted, hopefully. Just that it's super big. Why is it as big as this one? Okay, maybe that's this one and that's too big. Yeah, I suppose that's exactly what happens here. So, reset to default, no change. Why is this label so big? It shouldn't be the case. So let's compare it to
Oh, oh. Maybe that. Yeah, just that. Seems to do the trick. Just alignment. Wow. Okay, launching Giphy with the updated uh, plugin. Hopefully, the layout is um, is well aligned this time. Giphy is launching. Oh, I should remove the previous instance of Giphy. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, what? Where is the where is the plugin? Shit. Ooh. Just gonna use it on my default uh, Giphy uh, install. So that's my Giphy installation, not just so the one where I had an issue with the layout of the plugin. So I remove it. Oh, that's funny. By the way, it's still called Lexical Exploration Plugin. 
here. How is it possible? Let's do a quick search. Ah, it didn't change. Okay, we should be good. <laughs> we should be good. Uh, just the readme file. Where is the readme file? Show the word cloud of protection not to root when you hover network with your mouse. Um, it helps uh, explore and understand the network quick, quickly without having to visit the data table. To see what the nodes are about.
Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I've not even made the, the demo. I'm gonna film the demo. I, but I'm gonna do it outside of the stream because the, it's gonna ask resources. Uh, that I don't have with OBS. But we're nearly there, I think. I think that uh, that it's really fine now. Okay, the plugin is has compiled. I can install it in Gephi. It's called Word Cloud Plugin, Committee Contributed, Clima Valois, Word Cloud, very fine. Install. Word Cloud plugin description start text analysis in progress. Please wait. Hello, oh, G label. Why G label? And this thing is not even. It does open, but the, the mouse is not. But why G label? Oh, oh, I think I know why. It has not. I'm not sure I know, but. I think it has simply not included that here. Yeah, exactly. What is this ugly stuff here? Good. And the last thing was the was the the mouse did not have a, the look of a, so how is the where do you find that I can't remember let's see how it works here cursor from the mouse is up because by cursor it's cursor from the mouse. Voila, done. Why do we still have G level here? It's really annoying. Ah, 
Okay, so it's fine. I'm submitting the plugin as is. So if anyone is still with me, we're going to move to a different step, which is going to GitHub and following the instructions. Okay, so that's are the final steps when you are ready to submit a plugin. So I should push my plugin. So let me show you. So this is the this is the project of the plugin. Let me check the readme file. Can I remove all of oh, I should maybe leave all of that. Okay. Uh, I'm opening uh, not. Uh, I'm just uh, opening a, a Git GitHub uh, command line interface there. So Git status. Just to see where we are. Okay, of course, plenty of stuff not committed. So I git add everything. And now the question is, well, never mind. Okay, Giphy, uh, no, not Giphy at all. Um, git commit m uh, finalized version of the plugin. For review and publication. Okay, done. Git push. Done. So if we visit the website of GitHub. So I suppose that if I visit Oops, why does it take so long? Yeah, one minute ago, so I just finished pushing to to GitHub and so Okay, commit. Master Forge. So navigate to your Fox URL and create a pull request. Where is my GitHub stuff? Yeah, here. So I create a pull request. How, where do I do that? Oops. I will not discard 27 commits. I 
I did something. I hope it works. And so I should now create a pull request. How do I do that? So it's really GitHub 101. Open a pull request. Ta -da. Uh, so it's not master, I should choose master branch, master forge, I think that's what the thing was saying. Word Cloud plugin for review. And publication. Okay. I should attach a file, I suppose, to help. of the pull request done
Okay, I leave uh, Mathieu Bastien to have a look at that. Uh, okay, we're done. Uh, no time to, to create the live demo. Uh, I mean, the GIF demo, but uh, at least I did it uh, on screen here. So, uh, well, I leave it for another day. Uh, but the objective is achieved. Uh, huh, the plugin is sent for review and hopefully soon it will be published. I suppose Mathieu Bastien will ask me for some improvements. I will uh, do them. Uh, and the plugin should be in your Giphy's instance pretty soon. Thank you for staying. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's, it lasted twice as long as it should have. But uh, we've been there. We've, we've uh, we finished. Thanks a lot. Um, I will not stream next week about the plugin anymore, even if it's uh, not released yet. But it's you know I've sent the pull request, the push request or pull request. So for me, it's formally done. I'm gonna move on to something else uh, next week. Have a great uh, end of the week. Cheers. Bye bye.